The init method is a standard callback in Codename 1 applications. We initialize the theme and global variables. Specifically of interest is the fact that we load the recent searches and favorites from cached storage, so they are persisted across executions. The start method is another callback method from codename 1, and in it we just invoke the method that shows the main form. Show main form shows the actual main form. It might be invoked when navigating backwards from a deeper form, in which case we would want to show it with a backward motion transition. It might also include an error message from a failed search or possible suggestions for different spelling of a search query. All those are passed as arguments to the method. We create a form titled property cross and add a favorites command to it, allowing us to navigate to the favorites form. Notice that we used the command property Android show as action with text. This allows the command to appear directly in the title bar area when using the native Android action bar, which is the default behavior on Android. We use a slightly elaborate layout. We use a border layout as the topmost layout where the center includes pretty much everything and the south includes the list of recent searches or alternatively an error message or suggestion list. The center includes a box layout Y and a few components within a group layout so they will appear together. Specifically, the search and its buttons are grouped together with a group layout to give them the rounded corner feel. We use a done listener on the search field, so if done is pressed on the device, search will happen, but will not happen if the user just types in something. If we have an error message, we just add it as a span label. If we have a listings entry that isn't null, this means the search returned a set of other options for searching, which we need to display to the user to pick a different spelling. For both cases, we create a multi-list, which is a simple list that has a predefined renderer based on a multi-button. The list displays data from the model, which is in the form of a list containing map entries. By default, the multi-list expects entries in the form line 1, line 2, etc. for each entry. Hence, the second list is structured exactly with that format. However, the listings list is based on JSON parsed from the server and there we just want to display the entry long title which is why we change the behavior of the multi-button renderers for the selected and then selected entries. Notice that in the action performed for the first list we use the place name from the JSON entry rather than the long title. This is part of the requirements for the web service we use.